Section 2.1, the Cartesian Coordinate System. First of all, let me apologize for my voice. I am sick right now, so it does sound a little raspy. Hopefully the change gives you variety, and you will appreciate it when my voice is back to normal. But let's look at the Cartesian Coordinate Plane. This is the general layout of our Cartesian Plane, and we say that it's an R squared. The reason we say that is because we have our vertical, our horizontal axis, which is usually denoted x, and x is an element of the real number. So our horizontal axis is a real number line. We then have our vertical axis, which is y usually, and y is also a real number. So what ends up is that we get a real number by a real number and we say that the Cartesian plane is an R squared. In our Cartesian plane, we have what are called quadrants. So we can see our axes divide our plane into four parts. Thus, we have quad, four quad, all makes sense. Our first quadrant, we start in the upper right. This is quadrant one, and this is when both x and y are positive. So we have positive values of x, positive values of y. We then proceed counterclockwise. We have quadrant two over here, and x is negative, y is positive in quadrant two. In quadrant three, both x and y are negative. And finally, in quadrant four, x is positive and y is negative. The place where our two axes intersect is called the origin. And that's the center for this plane. All right, take a moment, make sure that you understand the Cartesian plane, and then when you do, continue on to the next part. All right. In our Cartesian plane, we do have what are called ordered pairs. This is where we locate where points are. The ordered pairs are written as, in parentheses, x comma y. The x value tells us our location horizontally, and the y value tells us our location vertically. Thus, with these two values, we can pinpoint any point on the Cartesian plane. Go ahead, try this example. We have plot the following points, then tell what quadrant they're in, or if it's the origin. Pause the video if you need to. Resume when you're ready to check your solution. All right, we do want to have up a Cartesian plane, and we always want to number our axes. Labeling is very important because sometimes we'll be dealing with small numbers, as small as maybe tenths or even smaller in the hundreds. We need to know what scale we're using. We could also use very large numbers, hundreds, two hundreds, three hundreds. We need to know what scale we're using then. In this case, let's see, we go, our highest is 12. So I'll go up by twos on the y-axis just to make sure that I can hit 12. Which means we also go down by twos. For x, our biggest difference is nine. So we'll also move by twos. It does help if I do this right. And if I don't erase my Cartesian plane, that helps as well. And it looks like it's all fallen apart. Okay, well, while I redo this, go ahead and make sure that your answer is right. Take a little bit more time if you need to, and go on to the next video when you're ready to see the solution.